Hi, this is Lucas with the eighth and last tutorial of this series of how to create a simple breakout game. So the last thing we are going to do in this game is to add a small animation in the menu um, when the user hovers on one of the buttons, um, two balls will be bouncing here where I'm showing you with the mouse. So to do that, we have to create, uh, first of all, another ball. So let's go onto the prefabs, create a new prefab and name it menu ball. Leave it empty. Now we are going to create a new game object, a sphere, and we're going to call it, let's leave it like, let's leave it sphere because then we are going to name only the the prefab. So enlarge it, um, make it 7 on the X, 7 on the Y, and 7 on the Z. Bring it somewhere. So bring it, uh, leave it where you want. Now we just drag the sphere onto the menu ball prefab. And we have that ball. You can delete the sphere now so that we can we can have only the menu ball prefab. So the next thing is to create four blocks. These blocks will be right here in this space, right here in this gap, so that um, it gives the illusion that the ball is bouncing on the on the background, on on these on these steel on these steel um, uh, edges and it will give that illusion so let's make them create a there and make a cube bring it forward and we are going to enlarge it obviously enlarge it on the y and important on the z this this is the only thing that we are going to use the z axis for so somewhere like that the cube should do let's see it something like that the cube should do you can enlarge it because it is not going to be seen and we have to make it somewhere there somewhere there there should be there should be good now let's duplicate it let's rename it first of all and name it right bottom block sorry right uh, so okay right bottom block duplicate it rename it to right top block and move it upwards somewhere there should do now let's duplicate it again and this time we are going to rename it left top block somewhere there a bit downwards that should do now duplicate that and the last one rena will rename it to left bottom block so that is ready as well so as you can see there are these blocks right here let's select them the four of them and increase their z a little bit so that they cover a bit of large space there that is good as you can see the four blocks are in place so the next thing is to create the balls 
once the um, the user hovers over the buttons so first of all as the game object bouncing we are going to use the menu ball so let's go and create a new script and we'll and we will call it um menu ball sorry ball animation controller we'll open it wait for it to open obviously now instead of um, uh, let me close all the unnecessary scripts and we will work on these two the main menu controller and the ball animation controller so in the main menu controller we have to create two other variables which are the ball as a game object and a static variable called ball on screen of type boolean and we will set it to false this will serve so that we know if the ball is on screen or not and we can delete or instantiate according to what the variable um, state is so the next thing is when we are going to hover we are going to change some things so when we are going to hover apart from changing the color we are going to change the ball on screen variable to true ball on screen ball on screen equals true now we are going to create a function of our own called create ball create ball sorry and here we are going to instantiate instantiate the ball which is going to contain the menu ball prefab here we are going to give it this position vector 3 minus uh, the x is minus 95 the y is 56 and the z is 42 now uh, quaternion dot identity and close we if if you want you can change this value these values and you can know those values by placing um, the menu ball onto the scene and you can obviously place it somewhere important that somewhere between the background and the background and the, um, the last plane so that it can hit the blocks as you can see right here it hits the blocks and it gives the illusion that is bouncing from one edge to another so the z can be obviously red from there so somewhere about somewhere about there is good so we are going to place it right there it is going to begin from there so x is minus 86 or minus 87 so x is minus 87 y is 55 and z is 83 so x is minus 87 y is 55 and z is 83 and save then we are going to paste this line of code so that we can create the other ball on the other side we can obviously delete this ball now after the values has been completed and the only thing that we have to do is to um, uh, change this v the x value to positive and the y um, uh, the y uh, value to negative so that it can begin from uh, um, this this position so um, once that's done here when we hover over the 
one of the buttons we are going to create also the bots so create we call the function create bots okay that is done as well now obviously um after we un uh, we are out of the buttons uh, we have to change the ball on screen again to false ball on screen equals false so and the color obviously is changed back to black now after the main menu controller has been done we have to do also some things here in the ball animation controller so first of all we have to create a variable called ball and of type game object as well and in the, f in the start we are going to give that ball some force so that it can move because in the main menu we just edited it and did nothing with it it just appeared on the screen and here we are going to um, uh, cater for the for its movement so rigid body dot at force and on the on the x we are going to give it nothing obviously and on the y it is important to give to give it something i'm going to write 2750 and here zero obviously on the z now in the update we need every frame to be checked so that we know if the ball if the user hovered over the button or not therefore here we say if main menu controller dot ball on screen that function that variable that we initialized here static if it is false we are going to destroy the balls so that they are removed from the screen once uh, the user is not on one of the one of the buttons so destroy and we are going to destroy the ball and that should do so we are ready from it as well now i think we can add the scripts obviously to the prefabs and stuff so here the start game okay we added it here so here we have to add in the exit the audio the intro audio clip so um go on on the sounds intro music drag it there and the bo and importantly the menu ball is dragged onto the ball right there um, then we have to go on to the start game as well and drag only the ball because the intro is already done in the exit so the last thing is to add, add the script of the ball animation to the prefab menu ball so drag it in the prefabs folder drag it on the menu ball drag the ball the same ball onto the ball game object here and obviously you can drag back the script and i think if we play it we have the final result let me maximize on play okay okay there is one little error there is one small error um select the menu ball prefab go on component physics and add a rigid body to it and remove the use gravity save and everything should work okay um another small error just add that material that we created in the first tutorial bouncy to the um, ball prefab as well so we can go here and here in, in the physics material you can add bouncy and that is done as well so that it can bounce around because it didn't bounce in the example so 
this is what we wanted when I hover over the buttons I have the bolts and when it's not they are destroyed and obviously on the other button as well so we obviously have completed the series of tutorials of how to create a simple breakout game now I'm going to show you again uh, the final result uh, of what we have obtained so to do that go on to build settings add the remaining scenes so the first thing that we want to appear is the menu then the game then the game over and then the one so build replace the exe file yes let it compile and after it is finished you can close this window and this window as well open the folder I don't know why the exe file didn't come up Okay, we are going to save it again. Breakout. So, um, uh, when you click right here the exe file, this w this w configuration will appear. Just choose 800 by 600 and window the view you want. So play and we are going to see the final result start game I think I'm going to lose because I don't have time showing you to destroy all the blocks so I'm going to lose and the game over scene should show obviously um, here we have the lives and the other side we have the score game over. and when I lose I can choose to play again or exit and if I choose exit as I told you before it is working so I hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials um, uh, I think you managed to do that because it is not a very difficult game to do. Hope I helped you with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.